battled addiction together, and they've won. But now, Amelia fears the man who once stood by her during her darkest times is now cheating and using her. Oh. Amelia claims she has video and audio proof that Michael has been unfaithful. Michael insists Amelia is paranoid and sabotaging their relationship. Watch this. Amelia's lost her damn mind, and I can't take it anymore. She's acting like a psycho, and it needs to stop. I'm the best thing she's ever had. But if this continues, I'm walking away. Amelia, the only thing that's tearing us apart is your paranoia. I am not a cheater. You told my producers that Michael tries to use your anxiety issues mm -hmm. as a way to cheat. Yeah. How does he do that? He tries to say I'm crazy all the time and I'm psycho and all that good stuff. And that's the reason why. In the beginning, what was your relationship like? It was amazing. We were together every day. Everything was perfect. Um, he was there for me through times when nobody else was. So your suspicion started, believe it or not, with, with a, an audio recording that you discovered on his cell phone. Three months into our relationship, we two days be after we found out we had were having our baby, we were pregnant. Um, he had sex, I guess, with his. B he went into work early the same day. How, how, do, you, how do you know that? Uh, I have the video. You have a video. Uh huh. For one, I knew she had something for him. For two. He went into work early, spraying all kinds of cologne all over him and all that. And uh, so I told him, you better video it. As soon as you get in that, that whole 30 minutes, well, the video is only five. And we, we got enough in the video to know what's going really? on. Really? Well, we've got some of the video. Let's yeah. take a listen to it. I'm just a little peaky, because we have had some issues with it. And I'm crazy. And I'm crazy. You played that for him, didn't you? Yeah, I played it for him, but he it, said there's nothing on it. Nothing on it. Nothing on it, no. It, it's, um, oh, it was conversation at work that, that I'm just making things, you know. Pretty much I'm crazy. Just to make sure that you knew what you were doing, you invested in a security system at home, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Nowadays, um... Yep. I, it, yeah, I have two cameras in my house for both doors, not for people breaking in. It's to see who's coming in and out of my house. Yeah. Your sex life changed at all? Oh, yeah. We have sex uh, maybe one time every six months. <laughs> He did make one confession to you, didn't he? He said he slept with a prostitute. Um, Weren't you on a break? Were you all on a break? Oh, yeah, we were on a break. And unfortunately, you had a miscarriage. Mm -hmm. You think there was a cause of it? At first, I thought it was STD, but that's ruled out, so it's got to be stress. Here's Michael. Michael, come on. <laughs> I think she was using her anxiety as an excuse to go and cheat. No, sir, Murray. I'm sure not. You think she's paranoid? She is paranoid. I'm paranoid. It's been that way. Everybody else can hear it on the tape, right? I'm paranoid. You can hear it on the tape, right? Well, we're not. Let's, let's run the tape again, okay? Just because, Michael, I want to get your side of it, okay? More or less. you did movie fight. I'm just a little peaky because we have had some issues with it out there. <laughs> you heard that? You heard that? I miss no one but you. What's going on? No. Nope. No what? That ain't that ain't nothing what it said. That's, That's what not what happened. Liar would say. I was there. That's not right. No, it's not. So in That's other words. That's why I called. Do the lie detector to prove myself. Oh, so you called us. I'm the one that called. Oh.
But you did admit you slept with a prostitute. Yeah, we went together. She set up security cameras in the home. I right? know. I helped her put them up. <laughs> Sure so you have no problem with that? No. Well, what are these doing to you, these accusations? That's tearing our family apart. I mean, we have a son together, and I love my son. Right. I love her. Oh. Yeah. I don't want to be a part-time daddy. I want to be full-time daddy. Right. Yeah. Amelia. Yes. You say you found stains on the, on, on the cushion in the couch. No, there wasn't stains. Uh, I got home from work, and the couch cushions were outside. He says that the dog peed on the couch. Well, his dog has very strong pee. You can smell it. So how come you can't smell no pee on the couch cushion? And so you think what? That he was having sex with somebody, trying to clean it up. Of course. If he passes this test, what's going to happen? If he passes this test, I'm going to feel real damn dumb. <laughs> um, <laughs> if he passes this test, I'm going to... If he wants to be with me, I'll try. I'll go to counsel and I'll do whatever I gotta do. But if he doesn't pass his test, he's gotta go. We've got the results right here. Are you ready for this, Michael? Yes. Since you told the story? Did the video recording Amelia discovered on your phone happen while sleeping with your female co-worker? You said no. The lie detector test determined, Michael, you were telling the truth. <laughs> Have you ever slept with another woman in the home you and Amelia share? You said no. The lie detector test determined you are telling the truth. <laughs> are you using Amelia for a place to live? You said no. The lie detector determined you're telling the truth. <laughs> During your relationship with Amelia, have you ever had sexual contact of any kind with any other woman? You said no, the lie detector test determined. Ralph, he's telling the truth.